Dr. Neeti Maheshwari, Assistant Professor, Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College, Ghazibad. Today, I will be discussing about liquid crystals and their applications. Generally, we say that matter exists in three forms. As of now, the matter exists in five forms, but there are three general forms, that is the solid, liquid and gases. But we say that solids they melt and they get converted into liquids and again on heating the liquids they get converted into the gases. But there are certain solids which does not directly get converted into liquids on heating. Instead they form a turbid liquid state and that state which is in between solid and pure liquids is known as liquid crystals. So we are going to study about what are they, how they are formed, how many types of liquid crystals are there and finally their applications. Now coming first, what is liquid crystal? If we see solid phase, then the molecules in solid phase have both orientational as well as positional order. That means the atoms they align themselves in a particular direction and their position is also fixed and they are held together by strong bonds. Then in the liquid phase the molecules have no orientational order or the positional order. They don't have, they don't align themselves in a particular direction and their position is also not fixed. But they are held together by weak intermolecular forces. And the gaseous phase, they don't have any type of ordering nor there is intermolecular attraction. Now, coming to the liquid crystal phase. It is also known as the mesomorphic state. A fluid phase, it is a fluid phase in which a liquid crystal flows and will take the shape of the container. It differs from the pure liquid that there is some orientational order possessed by the molecules. Now, if we see this diagram uh, here, the solid in the case of solid, the molecules they are aligned, aligning themselves in a particular direction and their position is also fixed. And liquids, isotropic liquids, the molecules they are random, randomly arranged and there is no positional or orientational order. But a state in between solid and liquids where there is no fixed position but still the molecule show some sort of orientational order. So a liquid crystal or the mesomorphic state is an intermediate state between a solid and a liquid and this liquid crystal it resembles in certain properties to the solid for example like orientational order is present as in the case of solids and in certain properties it represents the liquid like it is mobile as compared to the liquid. Liquids are mobile in nature and this liquid crystal also possess mobility. Therefore, a liquid crystal because certain it also shows anisotropy. Anisotropy is associated with crystalline solid. Anisotropy means the properties are different in different directions. Since the molecules are aligned properly, therefore properties in this direction will be different from the properties in this direction. But in the case of liquid, since the molecules are randomly arranged, therefore the properties in all the directions will be same. But 
these liquid crystals they show an isotropy therefore the term liquid as they are mobile and they show crystalline state though in the distorted form just shown like the solids therefore the name is liquid crystal now it is a phase that exists between solid and liquid it was discovered in the 19th century when we were studying the cholesterol derivative and the name of the cholesterol derivative is cholesterol mistitate so in this case you can see below 71 degree centigrade this molecule exists in the solid form whereas above 85 degree it is in the pure liquid form but in the temperature range between 71 to 85 degree centigrade this molecule exists in the turbid liquid form or the mesomorphic state or the liquid crystalline state and these changes are exactly reversed on cooling solid on heating up to 71 degree centigrade gets converted into liquid crystal which further on heating at 85 degree centigrade get converted into a pure liquid but when this liquid is cooled down to 85 degree centigrade it gets converted into liquid crystal and this liquid crystal on further cooling to 71 degree centigrade gets converted into solid so the first temperature at which the solid gets converted into liquid crystal is known as transition temperature. So this first temperature is known as transition temperature. And the second temperature at which the liquid crystal gets converted into the pure liquid it is known as its melting point and between the transition temperature and the melting point the state of this molecule is in the liquid crystalline state now coming to the orientational order which is possessed by the liquid crystalline state assuming that the direction of preferred orientation in a liquid crystal is in the particular direction this is the direction this direction can be represented by an arrow and it is called the director of the liquid crystal so director of the liquid crystal is nothing but the preferred orientation of the liquid crystal the orientation in which the molecules preferably tend to orient themselves then what is the criteria for a molecule being liquid crystalline because this property is not shown by all the molecules or all the solids only certain molecules show this property so the criteria for a molecule to show liquid crystalline state is the molecule sh must be long that is, it should be elongated in shape and length should be significantly greater than the width its length should be higher than the width the molecules they must have some rigidity in its central region that means central region should be rigid or this more stable molecule should be there or group should be there the ends of the molecule are somewhat flexible it should be rigid in the center but the ends of the molecule can be flexible there should be presence of conjugation and presence of polarity that means the molecule should be polar in nature now here i have taken an example or it is the representation of the liquid crystalline molecule here you can see that the molecule is elongated in shape length is much higher than the width and there are rigid centers which is given by the or the rigidity which is provided by the benzene groups which are present in the center and the functional groups or the long chain carbon is present at the end of the molecule and 
One thing to note that these molecules, they possess very strong dipole moments. Now, the liquid crystal molecules, they prefer to align parallel to each other because of the strong intermolecular attraction. That means, in between the two molecules, there are strong pi pi interactions. Intermolecular interactions are there. Therefore, they align themselves parallel to each other. So, they can show long orientational order. Now, these liquid crystals exhibited by these rod like molecules with one molecular axis much longer than the other two, they are called calamitic liquid crystals. Now, Coming to the vapor pressure temperature diagrams of liquid crystals. In normal cases, if we see the vapor pressure temperature diagram, then it is seen somewhat like this. This is a normal temperature pressure diagram of a normal substance which showing the three states that is solid, liquid and gases. This area represents solid, this is liquid and this is gaseous. So, three states, but in this case if you see the vapor pressure temperature diagram of liquid crystals, the solid is not directly getting converted into liquid before getting converted into liquid, this solid is getting converted into liquid crystalline state. And then this liquid crystalline state on heating gets converted into pure liquid and finally the gaseous state. So, in this case, the three lines, in the first case, these three lines, they meet at a particular point. So, there is only one triple point in the normal condition, but if a certain substance is showing liquid crystalline state, then there are three triple points, sorry, then there are two triple points because the three lines will interact or they are going to cut each other at two positions. In one case, the solid liquid crystalline gases will show the equilibrium or they are going to stay in equilibrium and in the other case this liquid crystal liquid and gaseous will be in equilibrium. So, this molecule or the liquid crystal they have two triple points instead of one. Now, coming to the types of liquid crystals, liquid crystals are broadly classified into two types. The first one is the thermotropic liquid crystals and the second one is the lyotropic liquid crystals. If the liquid crystals are being formed by the change in temperature, if solid on heating is going getting converted into liquid crystal, then such type of liquid crystals are known as thermotropic liquid crystals. And the second type is the lyotropic liquid crystals, they are formed if when a molecule is dissolved in a suitable solvent or when a solvent is added to a certain substance, then instead of forming a solution, they first form a liquid crystalline state that is with specific concentration at a particular temperature. So, when you add a substance to the solvent, then the solute should dissolve but instead they are forming a liquid crystalline state or a turbid liquid is being formed. Till you keep on adding the solvent and beyond a critical limit, this turbid liquid will give rise to an isotropic liquid or the pure liquid will be formed. So, two types, one on changing the temperature that is thermotropic and second type is the lyotropic when on addition with the solvent and that too with a specific concentration at a particular temperature. Now, coming first to the thermotropic liquid crystals. 
Now, these thermotropic liquid crystals, they are classified into three different categories. The first one is the pneumatic liquid crystal. Pneumatic liquid crystals, uh, they are thread like and they are derived from a Greek word for thread. So, when we see them in the polarized light, they appear to have a thread like structure. These pneumatic liquid crystals, here the molecules they maintain a preferred orientation. A preferred orientational direction is there as they diffuse throughout the sample. If we see the pneumatic liquid crystal, then the molecules, they tend to align themselves in a particular direction. So, they show orientational order. But the starting and stop position of each molecule is going to be different. Then these molecules they are free to flow, though their fluidity is less than normal liquids and their center of mass positions are randomly distributed as in a liquid, but they still maintain their long range directional order and most pneumatics are uniaxial. Now, these pneumatic liquid crystals, they have fluidity similar to that of the ordinary liquids, but they can be easily aligned to an external magnetic or electric field. That means, they are affected by strong magnetic or electric field. Now, these aligned pneumatics they have the optical properties of uniaxial crystals and this makes them extremely useful in liquid crystal displays that is the LCDs. The second type of thermotropic liquid crystal is the smectic phase. Now, in this case smectic liquid crystals the mobility is very less. So, besides orientational order, there are also some positional order present in this phase. For example, spectic liquid crystals, they are also known as soap like. Now, they have the orientational order, but in addition to the orientational order, they also have somewhat positional order present in them. Here the molecules, they are arranged in layers and these different layers, they keep gliding over one another and presence of these layers indicate that the crystal structure though exists, crystal lattice it exists though it exists in the distorted form. Now, spectic A to K phases have been discovered. There have been many spectic phases have been discovered from A to K. The spectic phases which are formed at the lower temperatures than the pneumatic, they form well defined layers that can slide over one another in a manner similar to that of a soap. So, they are also called soap like. Now, here I am showing two different types of smectic liquid crystals. The first type is smectic A phase. Now, in this case, we can see that the director is perpendicular to the plane. The molecules, they are aligned themselves and the preferred orientation, it is perpendicular to the plane of the molecules. If this is the plane, the molecules are aligning this in this manner. So, the preferred orientation of the director is perpendicular to the plane. In the second case, we can see this is smectic C phase. In this case, the director makes an angle with the plane. 
if this is the plane of the molecule, the if this is the plane, the molecules they are aligned slightly tilted, they are tilted to an angle. Therefore, the director makes an angle with the plane. Now, in this case, the spectics they are positionally ordered along one direction. In the spectic A phase, the molecules are oriented along the layer normal, while in the smectic C phase, they are tilted away from it. So, here they are normal, while in smectic C, they are tilted away. These phases are liquid like within the layers. There are many different types of smectic phase. All are characterized by different types and degrees of positional and orientational order. Because of the changes in the degree of po positional and orientational order, there have been recognized many different types of smectic phases. Now, here I have taken an example of some alkyl cyano biphenyl homologues and I have shown the transition temperatures of these homologues. Now, in the first case, the capital K, it represents the crystalline phase, which means that this molecule is crystalline at 24 degrees centigrade. And capital N, it represents the pneumatic liquid crystal phase. So, on increasing the temperature to 35 degree, it gets converted or between 24 degree centigrade to 35 degree centigrade, it exists in the pneumatic liquid crystal phase. And finally, at 35 degree centigrade, it gets converted into isotropic phase that is the pure liquid phase. Similarly, this molecule at a temperature of 21.5 degree centigrade, it gets converted into smectic a form. SA indicates smectic A liquid crystal. So, below this it is in the solid phase, but at 21.5 degree centigrade it gets converted into smectic A liquid crystal. Then at 33.5 degree centigrade it gets converted into pneumatic liquid phase because smectic are formed at lower temperature and pneumatic they are formed at higher temperature. And finally, at 40.5 degree centigrade, it gets converted into pure liquid that is the isotropic phase. Now, what can be the possible thermal transitions between different liquid crystal phases? Now, the crystalline solid which has long range ordering, it can get converted into smectic liquid crystal phase at a particular temperature. And when we lower the temperature at coming back to the same temperature, this smectic liquid crystal phase, it can get, get converted back into the crystalline solid. Then this smectic liquid crystal phase on further heating can directly get converted into isotropic liquid or the pure liquid form. Or it may so happen that this smectic liquid crystal on heating get converted into pneumatic liquid crystal. Just like in the previous slide, here it is smectic then at higher temperature pneumatic. It is not necessary that every time smectic will get converted into pneumatic phase. It can directly get converted into isotropic phase. Then this pneumatic liquid crystal on further heating gets converted into isotropic liquid. Or it is possible that the crystalline solid it at a particular temperature which is the transition temperature can directly get converted into pneumatic liquid crystal phase. On cooling this pneumatic liquid crystal at the same temperature, it will get converted into the crystalline solid phase. 
and then this pneumatic liquid crystal get converted into the pure liquid that is the isotropic liquid. And finally, the crystalline solid can directly get converted into the liquid and liquid on cooling can get converted into the solid. Now, the third type is the cholestric liquid crystal which is also known as chiral pneumatic phase. Now, this cholestric liquid crystal, it has it is intermediate between smectic and pneumatic that means it shows certain properties of the smectic liquid crystals and certain properties of the pneumatic liquid crystals. Now in this case cholesterol liquid crystal phase the molecules with intermolecular forces that favor alignment between molecules at a slight angle to one another. The director is not fixed in space as in the pneumatic phase, it rotates throughout the sample. I will explain how. The chiral pneumatic phase exhibits chirality. This phase is often called the cholesterol phase because it was first observed for cholesterol derivatives. Now, what happens in this case? The molecule or this phase exists in layers, different layers. Just like smectic liquid crystal, cholesterol liquid crystals also exist in layers, but the molecules in this Within a phase, they are arranged just like pneumatic liquid crystals. So, here you can see each plane of the molecule is slightly twisted with respect to the molecules below or above. Now, layers existence, they exist in layers just like smectic, so they show resemblance to the smectic, but within each layer the molecules they are arranged in a particular direction, but the start and stop positions of the molecules is different just like pneumatic liquid crystals. Now coming to the structure of chiral pneumatic phase. This was what I was representing in the last diagram. Now, in this case, you can say these are the molecules, they are arranged in layers, but the position of molecules is slightly tilted or twisted with respect to the molecules above or below it. And we are going to start with this position, then this position, this, this, and this. That means, these changing of the direction of the molecules up to here we have covered only 180 degrees, but they change over the entire 360 degree. For example, we are starting with this position. Then, this position, so on moving from here till here we have covered only 180 degree. Now it should again get converted into the different forms, again it will get converted into Again it will show the tilts till we get converted up to entire 360 degree centimeter. So, pura, around 360 degree it will get converted into 
the entire range. So, the direction of molecules will keep on changing, the direction of the molecules will keep on changing up to the entire 360 degree rotation and the director rotates about a horizontal axis and the distance for one full rotation is known as the pitch. So, up to here we are getting only half of the pitch. So, for complete pitch these must again be done so that we can get the entire pitch. So, the distance is it takes for the director from 0 degree to the entire 360 degree it is known as the pitch, the distance is known as the pitch. Now, the byproduct of this helical structure of the chiral pneumatic phase is its ability to selectively reflect light of wavelength equal to the pitch length, so that a color will be reflected. When the pitch is equal to the corresponding wavelength of light in the visible spectrum. Now, in this case, these chiral pneumatic phase they show different colors in the visible range. How the change in this orientation of the molecule is temperature dependent. If we increase the temperature, then they will be quickly changing into different orientations till we cover the entire 360 degree, hence the length of the pitch will become small. So, we will get small pitch, but if we decrease the temperature, then there will be gradual change in the direction of the molecules and as a result from going to 0 degree to 360 degree the length of the pitch is going to increase. Therefore, a different wavelength will occur because it is because of the temperature dependence of the gradual changes in the director or orientation between successive layers. Therefore, change in wavelength of reflected light will be according to the temperature. So, if we increase the temperature, we will quickly cover the entire range, the pitch length will become short, but we, if we decrease the temperature, since the change in the orientation will take place gradually, therefore the length of the pitch will increase. So, on changing the temperature, our pitch length is also increasing or pitch length is dependent on the temperature change. So, as we change temperature, our pitch is going to change. When pitch and this pitch length it is going to reflect the light of the visible range. So, when we change the pitch length, the reflected light will also, the color of the reflected light will also change because the pitch is equal to the corresponding wavelength of light in the visible spectrum. So, when the pitch length will increase, change, the wavelength of light will also change and as the wavelength of light will change, the color of the liquid crystal will also change. Now, there are examples of uh, molecules with chiral pneumatic phase. I have taken one example that is the cholesterol benzoate. Generally, they are derivatives of cholesterol which show this type of phases. Now, this cholesterol benzoate, it has a transition temperature of 146 degree centigrade and at 178 degree centigrade it gets converted into isotropic liquid. So, the next part I will continue in the next lecture. Thank you. Good morning, I am Dr. Neeti Maheshwari, Assistant Professor, Applied Science and Humanities Department, Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College. Today I am going to continue with my liquid crystal topic. In the last class I had covered the thermotropic liquid crystals because the liquid crystals as they were classified into two broad categories. One was the thermotropic which were going to change by changing the temperature and the second one was lyotropic liquid crystals. 
So today I'll explain what are lyotropic liquid crystals and how they are formed. Now when two different substances they are mixed together, the mixture can exhibit different phases not only as the temperature is changed but also as the concentration of one component of the mixture is varied. What I mean to say that when we add a solvent to a solute then that solid it dissolves in that solvent but instead of forming a solution they result in the formation of a turbid liquid that is the formation of liquid crystals and these liquid crystals they are amphiphilic in nature. Amphiphilic means that they have both ends hydrophobic part and the hydrophilic part. So a molecule that has n groups with the properties of one end being hydrophobic and the other end being hydrophilic in nature. Now there is a generic progression of phases on going from low to high amphiphilic concentration and they are the first phase is discontinuous cubic phase. Then there is hexagonal phase or the hexagonal columnar phase. Then there is laminar phase. Then bicontinuous cubic phase. Finally there is reverse hexagonal columnar phase and inverse cubic phase or it is also called as inverse micellar phase. So even within the same phases they self assemble structures they are tunable by the concentration. For example in laminar phases the layer distance increase with the solvent volume as we keep on increasing the solvent volume the distance between the layer it increases. Since lyotropic liquid crystals they rely on the subtle balance of intermolecular interactions it is most difficult to analyze their structures and properties than the thermotropic liquid crystals. Now here I am showing a cross section of the hexagonal lyotropic liquid crystal phase. Now here you can see how it is being formed and this is the cross section of the laminar lyotropic liquid crystal phase. In the laminar phase you can see these are the polar heads and this is the non-polar tail which is inside. Similarly here as the missiles they are being formed the, these are the polar heads and the non-polar tail is inside. Now here the cross sectional area has been explained this is a bilayer unit and these are the non-polar chains and these are the polar head groups and between the two bilayer units there is a layer of water, water is in between these different layers and this is the missile formation which is taking place, this is the missile cross section. In the missile cross section you can see that the non-polar tails they are towards the inside and the polar groups they are the outside. This is the reverse missile formation where the polar heads are inside and the non-polar tails are outside and this is the reverse missile cross section which I am showing here. Now anisotropy in liquid crystals. These liquid crystals, liquids they are isotropic in nature that means they have same physical properties in all the directions but in the liquid crystal phases their physical properties they are parallel or they are perpendicular to the director they will be different. The molecules they are parallel to the director their physical properties will be different and if they are aligned perpendicular to the director then their properties will be different. Now here I am showing how they are aligned whether parallel they are aligned parallel or the perpendicular the speed of sound along these two directions will be different. Therefore, the liquid crystal phase is also called an isotropic phase. That means they resemble these solids because in solids the position of the atoms is fixed 
and the properties of solids in different directions are going to be different. So, they follow the same pattern. The properties of liquids, crystals are also different in different directions. Now, coming to the applications of liquid crystals. The two broad areas of the applications of liquid crystals, they are in the displays and the second application is in the thermography. Now, coming first to the liquid crystal displays, LCDs. Now, in case of LCDs, a thin film of the liquid crystal at room temperature, it is sandwiched between two transparent electrodes. If you take two electrodes, we press a layer of liquid crystal in between these two electrodes. And this cell containing the two transparent electrodes and the liquid crystal in between, it is sealed, it is packed to eliminate oxygen and moisture. Now, when no electric field is applied, this cell is transparent the cell is transparent, but on applying the electric field, since they have strong dipoles, liquid crystals have strong dipoles, so on applying the electric field, this, this liquid crystal, it becomes opaque and it blocks the light because it changes its alignment. If they are aligned this way, but on passing the electric field, the poles the negative and the positive charges which are present in the liquid crystal, they align themselves along the electric field and then they become opaque and they block the light and they have much more clarity and these liquid crystals, they are used in digital or alphanumeric displays. Then they are also used in signal displays. They are also used in analog displays. They are also used because they consume very less electricity. So, they are used in large area picture screens. Next application is thermography. Now, the cholesteric liquid crystals because they have a property to change the color according to the temperature. Therefore, they are used namely in the thermography of human skin. By painting the liquid crystals on the human skin, we can study the basic studies of the human skin or the basic studies of the circulatory system can be done because in the circulatory system, the heart pumps the pure blood to the entire body. So, the circulatory system is continuously doing the work. That means, and the impure blood is collected from the different parts of the body and it gets back into the heart. And we can diagnose the diseases in the circulatory system. Since uh, circulatory system is continuously moving, therefore, it is at higher temperature. But if there is a blockage at any part in the circulatory system, the blood flow will be stopped at that position and the color of the liquid crystal will be different because the temperature of that part of the circulatory system will be different from the other parts. Therefore, the color of the CLC will also be different. So, we can study where exactly the blockage is there. Then, it is used for the detection of tumors. Again, Tumor is formed by the multiplication of cells. When the cell division does not stop, it leads to the n number of cells being formed and a mass of cells is being formed which is known as tumors. So, here we can study the de detection of tumors by thermography because cells are continuously working. Therefore, the temperature of these cells is going to be different from the other cells and hence the color of the liquid crystal will also be different. Next application is in the thermal mapping in solid state electronic devices to locate the faults. 
for example, in integrated circuits. Now, since the ICs they are continuously working and if there is a fault at any place, then again by the change in color we can detect where exactly the fault is there. Then next is the surface thermography in aerodynamic testing. In the aerodynamic testing, we can study or we can demarcate the areas of the lamellar and turbulent flow by painting the liquid crystal on the surface of the aeroplanes and studying them in the wind tunneling experiments. So, these areas of laminar flow will have a different color and the areas with turbulent flow again will have a different color. So, these are the various applications of liquid crystals and that is all about the liquid crystals. Thank you.